Ladybug. Oh, hi, Fletcher. Won't you come in? Oh, thanks. Uh, Would you like some coffee? No, I don't have time. Is Frank still asleep? No, he had to get to the office early. He had a meeting. Listen, uh, could you do me a life and death favor? Sure, what is it? Well, I lost my canary. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I didn't know you had a bird. No, I mean Chi Chi Jurgensen, my female vocalist with the all girl figure. <laughs> mm, she is good, but she's got a cold, though. Mm. Oh, there's a lot of that going around. Listen, Kara, this is really important to me. I got a chance to get a recording contract if I make a demonstration record in one hour, if I may be wrong. Mm. Is that that song I hear you rehearsing every night? Oh, you've heard it. Good. That'll make it real easy to do. Mm. <laughs> to do? Oh, Fletcher. You don't mean you want me to sing it for you? Yeah. Fletcher, I can't sing. Well, my walls have tender ears. I hear you singing in the shower all the time. That's in the shower. Well, I'll turn on the faucet and get you in the mood. Fletcher, I'm not a singer. Well, I'd like to do you the favor, really, but I've got to get to work anyway. Well, it'll only take a little while to sing one chorus. Listen, it'll be kicks. I got a split for the studio now, and here's the address. Fletcher, I can't do that. Don't let me down, Ladybug. Fletcher, wait! The life you save may be my own. <laughs> Fletcher! How'd you like it, Sid? A way out sound, huh? In, out. It's still sound. Where's the girl singer? Well, she should be here any minute. Look, kid, Sid Glogauer is a busy man. Oh, Ladybug. Fletcher. Oh, good. Right on time. Fall in. Fall in. Not bad. Kara Bridges, this is Sid Glogauer. He's with the record company. Hi. Not a bad voice. Let's see your legs, honey. <laughs> oh, he comes out with some good ones. Okay, okay. Sid Glogauer hasn't got all day. He's a busy man. Uh, you know the lyrics and everything? Uh, you know what uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, uh, go right to that mic there. Uh, you'll have to forgive my voice, Mr. Glagauer. I, I've never sung with a band before. I'm, uh, I'm a little nervous. Oh, it'll be good. Roll it, Huey. Okay, now you come in uh, after two, which is the number after one. <laughs> oh. Okay, ready? <laughs> What's the matter? Well, I, I don't know. I, I guess I'm nervous. Well, just pretend you're in the shower. <clears throat> This has a little slippery. Okay, ready? One, two. I, uh, I, I think uh, my knees are shaking. I think if maybe if I could sit in a stool like Perry Como, I, I, I'd be a little more relaxed. <laughs> kind of sk oh. Sit, stand, just sing. <laughs> I'm 
clothes are unsightly. All of my shoes are a crime. If dear and you I pick rightly, it's the very first time. You came along, say, I think you're wonderful. I may be wrong, but I think you're grand. I think you're grand. I, you're adorable. Oh, that's good. That one good note in there. There's a real good note in there. I've never sung with a band before. Oh, here it is. No, that's just a spot of dirt. I'm not a professional, you know. Where was that? Was it? I, uh... I, I'm only a file clerk. Where is it? Uh, how was it, Fletcher? Oh, I don't know. The band was playing too loud. I didn't hear you. <laughs> Kara, that morning report was supposed to have been on Mr. Burkhardt's desk an hour ago. What have you been doing? Honey, I had to go to an audition. Oh, I was so nervous. It was like when I was in the school play playing a tree. I was shaking like a leaf. An audition? <laughs> Oh, uh, Chi Chi Jorgensen had laryngitis, so Fletcher had me make the demonstration record. How are you? Awful. Oh. Well, honey, I know I'm not a great singer. I, I mean, I know I need training vocal-wise, but, gee, I was so nervous. Well, you don't have a professional voice. Fletcher should appreciate that. Well, why didn't he say he appreciated? He just stood there staring at me, all of them. They didn't say a word. Oh, I probably shouldn't have even done it. I should have stuck to my filing. I'm just a file clerk. Oh, no. Come on, Kara. Look, answer me one question. What was Ethel Merman before she got rhythm? I don't know. A sales lady in Astoria, Long Island. Really? Mm -hmm. And what was Barbara Streisand? What? A secretary. Really? And how about Judy Garland? A star. Before that. A child star. <laughs> well, anyway, if Merman, Garland, and Streisand can make it... Why not a file clerk? Get on with your morning report. Frank. Oh, Frank. Do you really think I could make it? I just showed you. According to the law of averages, even a simple file clerk can become a star. <laughs> a star. I'm just another fan of yours So I thought I'd write and tell you so You made me love you I didn't want to do it I didn't want to do it You made me love you And all the time you knew it I guess you always knew it. You made me happy sometimes. You made me sad. Yet there were times when you made me feel so bad. You made me cry for I didn't want to tell you. I didn't want to tell you. I need some love. Yes, I do. Indeed, I do. You know I do. I don't care what happens. Let the whole world stop. As far as I'm concerned, you'll always be the top cause. You know you made me love you. Mr. Burkhardt, 
For me? Won't you sing a few more songs for us, Miss Wilton? Gee, I'd love to, but I don't think I have the time. Miss Wilton, if you don't have the time to get me my morning report, you'll be fired. <laughs> you can't fire me. I'm the toast of Broadway. What did you say? You can't fire me. <laughs> Mr. Burkhardt. Oh, I, I was just getting your morning report. Oh, thank you for your patience, sir, and, and for that big horseshoe of roses. <laughs> Ladybug, the record company just called me, and it's Flipsville. They love it. That's wonderful. Yeah, they want me to come right over there for a meeting. Oh, Fletcher, call me as soon as you hear anything, will you? Okay, Ladybug, later. <laughs> Morning report, sir. <laughs> Won't you sit down, please? Oh, thank you, sir. Miss Walton, Fenwick Diversified Industries have been in business now for 97 years. And every morning for 97 years, the morning report has been delivered every morning. And that's why they call it the morning report. <laughs> Do you want to change it to the afternoon report? Oh, no, sir. Then get it to me on time! <laughs> that's what you're being paid to do. You can't handle that job, we'll get you something that's less demanding. Like running an elevator. That's how Dorothy Lamore was discovered. What was that? Dorothy Lamore. She was running this elevator in Chicago. Or was it Detroit? Anyway, this man got in the elevator and she was pushing the up button. Never mind, Miss Wilton. Or was it Milwaukee? <laughs> no, Chicago. Wilton, when you're through touring the States, would you take a memo to Mr. Davis in the sales division? Oh, yes, sir. The sales figures for the past three months have been most encouraging. I want to congratulate you on an outstanding job. During the three months you've been with us, you have compiled a highly successful record. Successful record. Successful record. Successful record. Successful record. I like your style. Hey, I think it's marvelous. I'm always wrong, sir. How can I tell? Hello. Yes, that's right. Miss Wilton will be returning from her European tour today. But she won't be giving any interviews until uh, after she's had a little rest. You're a syndicated columnist? What name, please? Walter Lippman? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you'll have to write for an appointment like everybody else. <laughs> Thank you. I finished a song for Kara's new album. How is it? What difference does it make? Anything she records sells a million copies. The first ten minutes, the stores are open. Hello, darling. Come on, Tiger. <laughs> now, Tiger, isn't it nice to be home? Kara, baby. Now, don't tell me. Just a minute. Uh, my last film. Your husband. Of course, Frank. How careless of me. <laughs> Richard, come get Tiger. Be careful, he's ferocious. <laughs> Let me look at you. Have I changed, darling? Mm, no, you look just the same as you do in the movies. Oh. <laughs> Marie. <laughs> Richard? <laughs> Marie? <laughs> Richard? Oh, darling. I'm so bored being a star. I'm just a simple girl at heart. <laughs> Je suis très fatigué. <laughs> Come sit over here by my feet, darling. Worship me from afar. <laughs> Missed. <laughs> darling, I have a terrible cold. 
You know what happens when I get my feet wet? How did your feet get wet? All those madmen drinking champagne from my slipper. Tara. Oh, Richard. Take care of this, darling, will you? Be careful, it's 18 carat. <laughs> oh, Richard, do something. I feel awful. Oh, yes, madame. Marie. No, no, dear, just a manicure. Tara. <laughs> oh, is there somebody new? This is Richard. I stole him from Princess Grace. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> He's in charge of my eyebrows. Just once over lightly, Richard. Never mind plucking them, dear. Just loosen them a little. <laughs> it's your fans. Here they come. They're climbing up the side of the building. Ooh, that little one can really climb. Shoo, 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 shoo. Let them climb, the darlings. Perhaps I should entertain them with a few thousand songs. But, Kara, you must save your strength. That's the way I am. I love people. <laughs> and they love you, Kara. <laughs> Do they really? I think a few of your latest albums should satisfy me. <laughs> everyone? I got rid of them. I thought we'd have a little dinner alone, just the two of us. Oh, I'd love to, Frank. But I promised Ed Sullivan I'd be introduced from the audience. You're flying to New York? No, he's flying the audience here. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. They sent you a script from Hollywood. They want you to star in a $50 million production. Oh, they're remaking Cleopatra? No. <laughs> I didn't so want to work with Richard Burton. We wrote Hamlet. You're playing Hamlet. <laughs> It's a wonderful part. I'll do it. <laughs> of course, I'll have to write a musical number in the second act. Maybe I can get Richard Burton for Ophelia. <laughs> oh, what a bore. Mr. Bridges? Yes. Uh, my name is Burkhart. Who is it, dear? Miss Wilton. Oh, Miss Wilton. My name is Burkhart. I, I don't know if you remember me or not. Uh, he looks familiar, doesn't he, Frank? Yes, he does. Where would it be from? Well, when you two used to work for Fenwick Industries, I was there, too. Uh, I still am. Of course. I do remember you. Mr. Hartburn. But, uh, thank you, America, sweetheart. Think nothing of it. That's the way I am. <laughs> yes, it all comes back to me now. I do remember you. <sighs> you used to yell at me. Yell? Me? <laughs> Miss Wilton, I may have raised my voice a little, but yell never. You certainly did. And I'll tell you something else. Dorothy Lamore did, too, run an elevator in Chicago. <laughs> Miss Wilton, I never doubted it for a moment. Is this a social visit, Burkhardt? Well, actually, no, Frank. Uh, Mr. Bridges, I... You see, Mr. Fenwick is putting on a new television series. And he wants you to star in it, Miss Wilton. Television? Ha! It's beneath me. <laughs> impossible. Miss Wilton is doing a movie and a Broadway play. He's absolutely right. It's impossible. I'm so busy doing movies, concerts, Broadway, off-Broadway, and being adored by millions. <laughs> I just wouldn't have the time. But you see, in this television series, all you'd have to do is just say, hi there. <laughs> That's all. We'll pay you anything you ask. <laughs> Mr. Burkhardt, do you realize if Miss Wilton said, hi there, we could put it on a record and sell millions of them? <laughs> I do realize that, but I thought, well, just for old time's sake. You used to yell at me. Well, I'll tell you the truth, Miss Wilton. Uh, Mr. Fenwick said if I didn't get you for the television series, I'd be fired. Oh, no, Frank. We couldn't possibly let that happen. It, it's just too cruel. I mean, after all, we do know this man. We used to work for him. Well, even though I don't have the time, I'll make time. 
No. Yes. Well, I'll do it. Thank you, Miss Wilton. Thank you. Promise you won't yell at me anymore. I promise. No, thank you. You're too generous. Think nothing of it, Mr. Herkberg. The name is Herkberg. I'd also give you an autographed picture. Oh, Miss Wilton, would you? Oh. Haven't you left your hat? <laughs> I think I was once a mere file clerk. Ah, alone at last. Six long months. Seems like a lifetime. Isn't it wonderful? Just the two of us. Kara. Kara. What? What? Oh, I fell asleep. <laughs> This won't work, Carrie. You're going to have to make a choice between your career and me. Don't ask me that, Frank, please. Don't ask me to give up my career. I owe an obligation to my public. Don't ask me. But I am asking you. Now, what's it going to be? The glamour and the excitement or me? There's only one answer. The answer is? The answer is... The answer is... The answer is streamlining the customer approach. And I must say, in that respect, you've done a great job. <laughs> Bang up wires. Get that typed up and do it right away. <laughs> Miss Walton! You promised you wouldn't yell anymore, Mr. Bird Dog. <laughs> what? Bur Burkhardt. <laughs> Miss Walton, what's the matter with you today? I'll get some copies of that memo up to Mr. Fisher and Mr. Fenwick. Yes, sir. Copies? Copies. That's all, Miss Wilton. Well, I, I don't think I could... That's all, Miss Wilton. Yes, Did it this time, Frank. What? Mr. Burkhart dictated a memo to me with copies to Fisher and Mr. Fenwick. So? So? <laughs> this is what you did? He'll fire me. Oh, no, he won't. Just go back in there and tell him you were thinking of something else. Be honest, and you're right, he'll fire you. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hiya, Fletcher. What? They want us to make an album? I may not need this job. Go on. They want us to pay for the album? <laughs> Forget it, Fletcher. I need this job. Miss Wilton, that memo I dictated. Oh, Miss... You didn't send it out yet, did you? I used the wrong figures. I made a terrible mistake. Tell me, did you send it out? I just finished typing it, Mr. Burkhardt. <laughs> Tear it up. What a relief. Thank you, Miss Wilton. <laughs> Whoever is watching over you is certainly doing a great job. Positive thinking. Nice thinking. You know something, honey? What? You know what? I'm glad I gave up my career to stay married to you. <laughs> the Carol Williams Show has been brought to you by Log Cabin Syrup and Jell-O Pudding and Pie Filling, all fine products of General Foods.